Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, here is a interesting thing about Windows updates. We're going to talk about a few of the options of Windows updates both in Windows 10 and in Windows 11 and we're going to of course take a look at what they mean and one of them is uh, interesting. This was not always like this. It became available um, I believe in Windows 10 where Windows updates are kind of thought of as peer-to-peer -peer connections, which means you might be downloading an update from another PC on the internet, not necessarily directly from Microsoft, and you might be sharing your own downloads of updates with other PCs on the internet. And you might say, well, I don't want that, especially if at the same time you have limited bandwidth on the internet. So there are settings for that. If you go into your Start menu, into the Settings app, and then you go into Windows Update, go down to Advanced Options, and then to Delivery Optimization. This is where it happens at the top here. Allow downloads from other PCs. So this, you can just simply turn it off. What does that mean? That means, especially if you have only one computer, uh, that means it comes directly from Microsoft servers, and that's it. And that might be what you want. But I'll tell you why keeping it on might be interesting if you have multiple computers in your home. Because you have also two options here. One is allow downloads from devices on my local network, and devices on the internet and my local network. When you leave this on, if you have more than one computer on your, on your home network, what happens here is that the updates will not only download from the internet, but they'll be shared in between your computers on your home network. That means if, for example, an update is one gigabyte, if you have six PCs, you might be downloading six gigabytes, meaning each PC downloads from Microsoft servers. But by using devices on my local network, your computer is going to look at the other machines on your network and share the Windows updates with them. That means that instead of downloading six times one gigabyte, you might be downloading only two or three gigabytes. Um, because the sharing that will happen here will lower the amount of data that is not downloaded from Microsoft. So I would keep it on and put devices on my local network if I have multiple computers on my same network, like I do here. The other one is devices on the internet and my local network, then it becomes a peer-to-peer -peer connection, which means you're sharing your downloads of updates, not only with your computers at home, but with others on the internet, and that you might not want to. So I would uh, personally just keep it to devices on my local network if you have multiple machines. If you have only one computer, Simply turn off the allow downloads from other PCs. This will only download from the Microsoft server. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.